Well, hello, dear motherfuckers, and welcome to the NXT review. Uh, good show this week. Very good stuff. Good matches. No bullshit. <laughs> Way better than Raw. Like 10, 100 times better than Raw. What a great main event. We started off with Bailey, Paige, and Emma defeating Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and Summer Rae, the BFFs. Good uh, six-man tag match here. You know, just good wrestling all around. Pretty fast-paced. I enjoyed it. Charlotte's probably one of the best wrestlers, you know, women-wise in years. You know, she's just great in there. Great technical skill, great ability. You know, that right there is the future. If women's wrestling could be more like that, uh, Bailey gets the roll up from behind. Now, despite her retarded gimmick, Bailey's actually a pretty decent wrestler. So a one-on-one -on -one match between the two might not be that bad. Then you got Colin Cassie defeating Sylvester LaFort. Um, not a bad match. Not a very good one either. But um, Colin Cassidy's probably one of the most sculpted big men I've seen. You know, Usually big men, they don't usually have that type of physique. So <laughs> he's a sexy man. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, I guess it was all right for a squash match. Then you had Sami Zayn defeating Bo Dallas with a with a stupid ass mask on, calling himself Mr. NXT. Um, basically, Sami Zayn, you know, beats him pretty quickly. Not a bad match, but you know, the post match stuff was pretty fucking hilarious. Security is dragging Bo Dallas out. He's screaming. He's being kidnapped. Then they load up you know, him into a golf cart and take him away. I don't know, but. That was fucking funny. That was one of the funniest things I've seen in a while, you know, from WWE. Um, then in the main event, it was Adrian Neville defeating Tyson Kidd to retain the title. This right here was an incredible match, even better than their takeover match. Faster paced, better moves. They did like fucking 50 moves in 15 minutes. It was great. What a fucking great match this was. Um, just an awesome match, awesome match, you know, for a fucking internet show to be putting on matches of this quality, that is fucking phenomenal. Um, so this was a, beyond a great match, so many high-flying moves from both guys, I was going, ah, you know, I couldn't believe it, it was, it was great, motherfuckers, and overall, just a very good show, you know, NXT is like, it's kind of pathetic. You know, Raw, it's supposed to be the big time. That's where they're supposed to be promoted to. How come in, you know, the developmental territory, they're having better matches almost every single time it's on the air? I, do, I don't get it. You know, Paige is great in NXT. They make the transition to, uh, to Raw, and they become total shit. Like, Paige hasn't done fucking anything since being brought up to the main roster. You know, Bo Dallas... Is boring in NXT. He's funny. I, you know, I don't get it. Like, why? What? What is this? When they go to the big time, it looks like the minor leagues, and vice versa. You know, if you look at NXT, you could clearly see that. You know, the the arena isn't big time, but the the content is big time. I don't understand it. You know, it's ass backwards. It is fucking ass backwards. Anyway, great show, motherfuckers. <laughs>